The simplest answer was that Gregor was a noble. He was his father's son and heir. It was fully expected that he'd inherit the Kligan name and estate. Publicly admitting that his heir had attempted to murder his younger brother, in a particularly horrific way, would be been a destructive thing to the family. How does one punish such a case? Even in modern times, the appropriate punishment for an 11-year-old is a hotly debated subject. In that era, what were your options? Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. There were no child psychologists or mental institutions. Anything permanent would very publicly deprive him of his heir. And that would have to be explained. A father doing that to his young son would require him to publicize, far and wide, that his firstborn was a monster. And consider that House Cleegan was brand new to nobility. Gregor's father was the first generation to be raised in nobility, it's not clear whether he was born when his father was ennobled. His father was in hound keeper. It's likely he felt insecure in his social position, and publicly admitting what Gregor did would be disastrous. Everyone would be quickly whispering about how giving land to commoners didn't make them any less brutish or simple-minded. Everyone was terrified of Gregor, including his father. Gregor was always bigger than a normal man, even when he was young. He's almost 8 feet tall and weighs 420 pounds obviously he wasn't that size at 11 or 12, when he burned Sanders' face, but he was bigger than kids his age for sure. What's the scariest kind of person? Gregor is nasty, he rapes and kills for fun. He tortures people for fun. He kills children with not a care in the world. He uses his overwhelming strength and size to terrorize people. He murdered two small children, then raped and split their mother in half, with the blood and brains of her children still covering him. He will not take pity on anyone. He will not discriminate. Meaning? A lot of killers have codes. They refuse to kill women or children. He doesn't care from woman or anything else. He's not going to take pity on people with disabilities. He's not going to feel bad and let the woman live. He's not going to feel empathy for the elderly. He doesn't care if you're a child. He's already a terrible person. But what really makes him the scariest person in West Eros? A man with nothing to lose is the scariest of all. He has nothing to lose. He cares about nothing, he cares about no one, he believes in nothing, he stands for nothing. There's nothing you can threaten him with to curb his maniacal ways. He doesn't have a wife or children. He doesn't give a shit about the family he has. Hell, he murdered his father and little sister. He's unapologetic and takes great pleasure in bullying, torturing, raping and murdering people. If he gets his hands on you he will straight up, flat out, rape, kill and eat you in whatever order he chooses. And he knows he will suffer no consequences for any of his actions because he's protected. He is truly a wild fucking animal. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.